Laugh and Learn Bible for Kids written by Phil Weischer. Now this book has 52 five minute Bible stories. So I will do one story at a time and I will read them in chronological order. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for this fun Bible story for kids book. And parents, you'll learn something too. I know I did. Creation. In the beginning, there was God. Just God, nothing else. No trees, no hummingbirds, no ants, no stars, no galaxies, no mountains, no whales, no bats, no kids, no grown-ups, no grandmas or grandpas, no caterpillars, no lakes, no oceans, no horses, no elephants, and no frogs. Not even little tiny ones. Just God. You might think he was lonely and all that nothingness, but God wasn't lonely because God wasn't alone. You see, God is like us in some ways. He thinks, he feels, he acts. But in other ways, he is very, very different. God is everywhere. He knows everything. He is never wrong, ever. And on one other way God is different, and this one is tricky. God is more than one. There is one God, but there are three persons in God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three persons in one God. I told you it was tricky, and that is why God wasn't lonely, because he wasn't alone. There is love within God. There is friendship within God. There is family within God. One day, God decided he wanted to make a universe. He said, it's time for us to begin. And boom, he started making stuff. Why? Because it made him happy. God made shining stars and the big burning sun. He spun galaxies and solar systems and planets. Then he picked one particular planet and said, watch this. And boom. He made mountains and oceans and lakes and streams. He made plants grow, tiny little leafy ones smaller than a pebble, and big giant ones that climbed toward the sun. It was very good. But God wasn't done. Next, he made living creatures, so small you could barely see them. And then fish and birds and giant dinosaurs. He made swimming creatures and crawly creatures and creatures that fly. Whales and dolphins and giraffes, giant sloths and woolly mammoths. He made monkeys, little ones and big ones, howling monkeys and swinging monkeys and monkeys so small they could sit in a teacup. It was very good, but God wasn't done. The creatures God made were amazing. Some were beautiful and others funny looking. Some were very tall and others were very short. They had long necks and short necks, fur and feathers, big teeth and tiny beaks. But none of the creatures were like God. They couldn't think the way God thought, feel the way God felt, act the way God acted. And the friendship God, God had with himself, the forever friendship that had always been and will always be, these creatures couldn't join that friendship. They couldn't join God's family. So God said, now watch this. And then he made something truly special. A creature that could think, feel, and act like God could think, feel, and act. A creature that could join God's family. God made us. Now that story was part of Genesis 1. And it says tricky bits. How can God be one God but three persons? Each person is God, yet each is separate. Tricky, right? Just as a person is one person with different roles, the one true God is God, yet he impacts our lives as a father, God, a son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, our helper. Pray, dear God, thank you for creating our great big world and for creating us to be part of your family. Amen. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Stay tuned. The next story is the story of Adam and Eve. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.